Sable, a surprise encounter in the Gulf. Scary stuff here. Swimmers and scalpers meet face to face with a gator in Pasco County. ABC Action News reporter Haley Bull spoke to the trapper who put that gator away. We are really used to being out on the water. Vanessa Fox and her family. She's yeah. the cutest puppy ever. Are gearing up for an evening on their boat. We've seen manatees, we've seen dolphins, we've gone scalloping and seen lots of scallops. But they've never seen an alligator before. No, never an alligator in the water, ever. In the water off of Derny Key, near where the Cody River and Gulf meet. The Pasco Sheriff's Office says they and FWC responded to reports of an alligator chasing people. That's the boy right there. Rick Vetter, an alligator trapper. The water was pretty shallow, so we were able to follow it with the boat. He says he helped bring this guy in. So how much do you think this one weighs? Um, he's close to about 275, 300 pounds. Despite the size, at least 10 feet. Just another day. This gator doesn't phase him. Vetter estimates he's caught thousands of them over his career. I got one on a tennis court. I got one on a front porch. I got one in a backyard. And quite a few this week, but there's still something uncommon about this one. It's unusual. That's the first one I've ever caught out in the Gulf. A place where people swim and this week scallop. Deputies remind you to always be aware and if you're scalloping, have someone on the surface as your lookout. They got this gator out of the water. Water people here still plan to head back out on. You're in their territory. If you aren't prepared for it, don't be out there. We're still going to go. We're, you're, you know, we're going to cross our fingers and I think everything's going to be just fine. In Pasco County, Haley Bull, ABC Action News.